welcome to our full moon ritual for April. I am so excited that you are here. I have to say this full moon and the energy right now, I am feeling it. It is bringing up emotions. It is bringing up secrets. There are things I just didn't know about. So if you're feeling similar, don't worry, you're not alone. If this is your first time here, I am Crystal Ray. I am a Reiki master. I also have a online spiritual shop where everything I sell, I hand make, including hidden intention crystal candles. There's one right behind me and energy clearing sprays and a whole bunch of other goodies, especially some things to help you with working with the moon. I have moon shaped candles and moon ritual bath salts. This isn't a promo for my business, okay? If you wanna check any of that out, look at the link in the description. The other thing that I do is I do these moon rituals every single month on YouTube because I wanna help you learn more about you. I want to help empower you and I want you to learn more about living with the energy and like flowing and understanding that there are things happening and there's reasons behind why you might be feeling what you're feeling that you may not even be aware of. So let's just jump into this ritual and learn more about what's going on with this full moon in Libra. The moon will become officially full at 2.57 p.m. Eastern time in the sign of Libra or Libra on April 16th. In general, full moons typically bring heightened creativity and sometimes feelings of tension. This is an opportunity to reflect on what is not working in your life so you can begin to make changes. Full moons can also help expedite the manifestation of goals. Keep in mind, we are in Aries season, so things may just feel like they are happening quickly. This full moon in particular has a lot to do with our inner power. Where in your life are you giving your power away? Are you connecting in with your internal power and using it in your life daily? Are you trusting yourself when it comes to the decisions in your life that you're making by following your intuition? If you're feeling lost when it comes to connecting in with your inner power, I highly recommend taking five minutes a day, meditate, get quiet, find stillness. Ultimately, you are looking to connect inward. You can also do this by going for a walk outside, allowing your energy to become more grounded as you connect in with nature. Getting grounded will help you hear your inner power more clearly. And remember, meditation doesn't have to be through sitting. It can be through movement, dancing, walking, yoga, exercising, anything like that. During this time, exercise may help keep your mind clear. This is because with Aries energy, movement is very important. Moving your body will help the energy flow and it will quiet your thoughts as well as boost your positive thoughts. This is the time for you to figure out where in your life things feel unbalanced. Get clear on what you're ready to fully leave behind and how you can balance the aspects that need it. Be open to things that you thought you healed coming back up to be healed further. With this, allow yourself to be open to the emotions feel them through and then let them go. You may notice right now that your relationships are buzzing a bit. Take time to see how your relationships feel. Which ones need better boundaries? Which ones need more of a balance between giving and receiving? Which ones you want to deepen? Which ones you want to let go of? Be sure to stand in your truth and power. Honor yourself. Continue to connect to your values as well as your heart, love, and compassion. With this full moon, really allow yourself to release and allow any endings to arrive. Be open to learning something you didn't know before or for some secrets to be revealed. One last thing I wanna note is that we are heading into eclipse season, meaning things may start to feel more intense and you may start to experience pivotal points in your life. If you'd like to learn more about what's happening in the sky right now, please look up astrologers. There are so many out there providing such great detailed information so take a look, especially on YouTube. Now we're gonna move into our ritual. So we're gonna start with clearing our energy. If you'd like to grab incense, sweetgrass, sage, palo santo, energy clearing spray, anything that you use to clear your energy, go ahead and grab it. If you cannot spray or burn anything where you are, it's okay. You're just gonna imagine white light coming in during this next whole phase when I like light the sage, okay? We're gonna start with clearing our own energy and I'm gonna read you something that I wrote. One thing to note when you are clearing your own energy, please get the palms of your hands as well as the bottoms of your feet as these are energy centers. I clear myself of all energy that no longer serves me. I release lingering emotions from past events. 
I release all that is not in my highest good. I ask white, pink, and green light to enter my heart, allowing me to step into love even more. I am open to all that is meant for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Next, we're going to clear the room. I'm going to stay on camera, but you're welcome to get up and walk around. I ask all low vibe energy to be cleared from this room in my entire home. I ask all energy that is not in my highest and greatest good to be cleared from my space. I invite gold and white light to enter the space, allowing the space to be exactly what I need for this ritual and for my journey. I invite my loving team, the universe, the full moon energy, and any other loving energy that would like to join into this space. I am open to what is meant for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Before we get into our questions, I want us to take a moment to do a little bit of breathing to help just recenter our body and provide a little bit of balance. So we're going to be doing alternate nostril breathing. We're not going to do this for too many rounds. If you'd like to do this longer, pause the video and stick with it. But you're going to take your right hand and we're going to be using our ring finger and our thumb. And so we're initially going to start with using our thumb against our right nostril. So we're gonna press. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna breathe in for a count of four on the left side. So let's clear all the air out first. And now let's breathe in for four. And then we're gonna hold our left nostril with our ring finger. Now let's just hold our breath for a few moments. And then we're gonna release our thumb and exhale from our right nostril. Breathe in through your right nostril. Put your thumb back, let's hold. Breathe out the left nostril. Breathe in the left nostril. Breathe in the right nostril. Breathe out the left. Just do this a few more times. Go at your own pace. Let's let this be our last round. So let's start breathing in through our right nostril. Exhale the left. Breathe in the left. Release your ring finger. Let's just take two deep breaths. And allow yourself to come back to breathing normally out of both nostrils. Now we're going to move into our questions for this ritual. So if you need to pause and get a pen and paper, pencil, whatever you'd like, go ahead. Our first question is going to be, how does your life look and feel when you are balanced? And with this, I want to also say that balance means something different for each of us. 
So you may not want perfect balance in all the different areas in your life, but when it's the balance that is ideal for you, whatever that means, how does your life look and feel like when you are experiencing that type of balance? We're gonna take four minutes for this question. If you like a few more minutes with that question, then please hit pause and keep writing if you're ready to move on. Our next question is going to be, in what ways can you live with more compassion? With this question, one thing I do want to note is that feminine energy is really kind of coming up right now and there's a really good opportunity for us to embrace it more. So when we think of feminine energy, also think of like self-love, sexuality, alchemy, magic, like things like that, things that also are fun and 
feminine in a way. And so I want to invite you, yes, like in what ways can you live with more compassion, but also like what ways can you invite in more of this feminine energy? What ways can you be compassionate with yourself? What ways can you be compassionate with others? Just like all the things, okay? So I don't want to limit you. I don't want to like steer you in one way. I do really want this question to be whatever resonates most for you. However, I just wanted to bring up the feminine energy thing because I do feel like we can always use a little bit more and we can always tap into that, that sacred place within us. So in what ways can you live with more compassion? We are going to take four minutes for this question. If you like a few more minutes with that question, then please hit pause. If not, we're going to move on to our next question.
what is it you are bringing closure to in your life? And so I want you to think about things that feel as if they are coming to an end or that you want to come to an end or, you know, like you're sick of just re-remembering and thinking about and you want to find closure, right? Finding closures for you, even if you can't talk to another person, if we're talking about relationships kind of things, but whatever's going on, whatever's happening, what is it you are bringing closure to in your life? We're gonna take four minutes with this question. like a few more minutes with that question then please hit pause but if you are ready to move on this is going to be our last question for this ritual and it is what are you celebrating 
So with full moons, I always love this idea of celebrating what we did do well the last few weeks, especially if we had goals with the new moon and we've succeeded in those goals. So I want you to think back on what it was that you planted in the new moon and see what behaviors or things or thoughts or habits, whatever it is, that have helped you along this process and anything that you want to celebrate since that new moon or before that. We are going to take three minutes for this question. If you'd like a few more minutes with that question, then please hit pause and keep on writing. But if you are ready to move on, we're going to move into our meditation and I'm going to be sending you Reiki during this meditation. If this is your first time receiving Reiki from me, I just want to give you my little spiel so you understand what to expect and what Reiki is. So Reiki is a healing modality in which I am connecting into the Reiki energy and channeling it through my hands. Reiki is capable of being sent via distance. It can also go beyond time. So it can send to the future, it can send to the past, etc. And when it's going to the past, it's helping to heal current emotions for the past events, just to clarify. But Reiki is just a really beautiful, energetic healing modality that helps you on a physical level, an emotional level. It also helps with your aura, clearing your chakras, rebalancing your energy. So really a complete type of healing and anybody can practice Reiki. So 
During the next 10 minutes while we're meditating, some of the things that you may experience as I am sending you this Reiki might include tingling in your hands and feet. You might feel a warm sensation, a cool sensation. You might feel as if there's a wave of energy coming over your body. You may gulp really hard. Your stomach might gurgle. You may see shapes. You might see colors. You may have emotions come to the surface that are ready to be healed if you're capable of letting them come up and let go of them by all means please do so but you know what's best for you so if you can't get to that when you can of course there's also a chance that you may not experience anything reiki is extremely personal each of us experience it differently you may also just fall asleep and if you do don't worry i will wake you up if you fall asleep that's awesome i love when people fall asleep it just means you're really super relaxed as reiki is very relaxing and calming so know that tonight you're probably going to sleep better after doing this ritual and receiving this Reiki. I am going to ask you to have some water at the end of this just to help you with this process. So you are capable of laying down and meditating, getting the Reiki or staying seated, whichever is going to be the most comfortable for you. And so I ask that you get comfortable now. If you want to grab a blanket, go ahead to keep yourself warm. And then when you're ready, please close your eyes. Take in a deep breath. Allow yourself to just start to decompress and unwind. Taking in another deep breath. During the next 10 minutes, I just ask that you trust that the Reiki is going to provide healing to wherever you need it. Allow yourself to be open to receiving this healing. And so I want you to imagine yourself sitting or laying on a cloud floating in the sky. You are completely free. Whenever your mind starts to wander during these next 10 minutes, come back to this image and this feeling of just being totally free, floating on a cloud in the sky.
please bring your hands over your heart and just notice your heartbeat. Feel the love. Thank you, full moon and Reiki energy for the healing I received. Thank you for all your support. Thank you, team, for aiding me on my journey. Thank you, me, for honoring myself and making the time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. When you're ready, release your hands back to your sides. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, if you'd like to take a quick stretch, by all means do so and allow yourself to start to come back to this room. And once you're ready, please open your eyes. Please remember to have a glass of water after this as it will help with the healing that you just received. And if you ever want to take your healing a step further and receive a one-on-one -on -one personal Reiki session, I do offer them virtually via Zoom. So check out my website, crystalray.com. The link is in the description. You can book a Reiki session there. If there's no days or times that work for you, please let me know and we'll figure something out. I truly hope that this moon ritual was helpful for you and that you are feeling lighter and more free and that you are capable of finding closure in the things that you're looking for and that you are able to think about how you can get some more balance and Really, I just hope that you feel the love that is here and the love that I have for you and that I am sending you and that you're able to feel the love within yourself. Thank you so much for being here with me and for allowing me to be part of your journey. You have no idea how much it means to me, especially when you guys leave comments and I get to connect with you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you have an incredible full moon. If you're capable of it, definitely get out and bask in the light of the full moon. I will be doing so at Lunar Fair on April 16th. So if you're in New Jersey, come visit us at Lunar Fair. Stop by, say hi to me. My booth is crystal by crystal. You could see all the candles and stuff that I make that I have previously talked about in other videos or check out the website, crystal by crystal. But anyway, Get out there, enjoy the energy of this full moon. Remember, everything will pass and you are always capable of healing. And yeah, connect into that inner power within you. You got this. I will see you next time.